Hi, I'm Danny Ecker with your Chicago Business Today Midday Report. After months of waiting for regulatory approval, Google has finally closed its $12.5 billion acquisition of Motorola Mobility. CEO Sanjay Jha has now passed the baton to Dennis Woodside, the former head of Google's American region. And now we'll start to see how the new CEO plans to use Moto's roughly 3,000 Chicago area employees. I'm joined now by Crane senior reporter John Pletz for a look ahead uh, of the deal that's in place. John, uh, first of all, what do we know about Dennis Woodside and maybe the direction he'll be taking Moto? Well, Dennis ran the America's business for Google, which is its biggest business, and then he was picked to lead the transition once they decided to buy Motorola. He's a former McKinsey consultant, so I think what you're going to see is he's going to come in, he's going to want to crank up the sales engine, he's going to want to make sure that the business is running as efficiently as it can. Now, of course, the, the big question for Motorola throughout this whole process has been whether Google is buying them just for the patents or really to pick up this business and, and run with it. What indication do we have of uh, either way? Well, they, they stood up a management team today that you know has, has some Google veterans, um, it's got some outsiders, and it's got a lot of uh, Motorola insiders. So all indications are that they intend to run this as a separate business as they indicated when they bought it. And now one of the challenges with that, of course, is, is merging these cultures here. You have the, the Motorola culture and this Google culture, which is well known uh, for being what it is, uh, how much of a challenge is that for Mr. Woodside? It's a huge challenge for Dennis, and that's probably the biggest challenge he's going to face. You know, you've got a software company buying a hardware company, and Motorola, you know, has deep, deep roots. Um, you know, that's, that's a place that was run by engineers. Um, Google's also run by engineers, but they're software guys. So, you know, you're, you've got two distinctly different cultures that are, that are going to have to get on the same page here. And was, as you reported earlier this month, Google still shopping around the downtown area to look at uh, more office space to, to move all the Moto employees in from Libertyville. Anything more on that? Well, that's, that's part of the cultural challenge, you know, is, is uh, you know, Google is still working to finalize a deal for some downtown office space. And a big reason behind that is access to talent and also to, uh, to kind of change the culture a bit, shake things up. All right, John. Well, the deal is done, and now we move forward. We certainly do. Thanks, John.